Chicken is certainly the most used meat at my house. You know, broil, grill, saute, poach, and so forth. This is a roast chicken. And for a roast chicken, I do remove the wishbone, which is here. You go with your knife on one side and the other side, and then with your index finger and uh, your thumb, you go along the bone, get the end of it with the thumb, put your thumb in the back of it, and bring it back in front to get that triangle here that we call the wishbone here, that wishbone, which is right there, which is you know, problem when you carve in the dining room, so now it's free. Usually for the roast chicken, I remove those two, the wing here and there. I will show you two ways of trussing chicken, one without a needle, one with a needle. One or the other, make sure that you use kitchen twine. And the one without needle, you slide it underneath and you cross above, and then you go under the tip of the drumstick and close. And bring the chicken on the side. And if I had not removed the wing, I could have anchored it behind the wing, but the wing has been removed, so I anchor it behind the neck here. See? Anchor it behind the neck. I have that other piece. You do one, two, even three turns, because when you pull it out there, then it doesn't release when you do that. Then you do a double nut. And that's it. Usually, you're going to roast it 20, 25 minutes on one side, 20, 25 minutes on the other side, and then you finish it on the back and baste it as you go along. Now, if you want to use the trussing needle, which certainly when I was an apprentice, we used the trussing needle. There is at least three different ways with the trussing needle, but I will show you one. And you go in the center, you go here in a bone. You will notice that there is a bone here, but there is a soft part in one of the bones here, and that soft part goes right in very easily. And you come back in the center of the leg here. Pull out your trussing needle. Put the chicken on his back. From here you go through this. If you have enough skin, as you should try to take the skin with it. Again, into the other wing. Now back on its back. So remember that I went from that sub part in the bone to the middle of this, across here. Now I do the reverse with the center of the bone and that sub spot right there. Cut. That's it. And then above the leg here to finish right there. Turn it again a couple of times. Do a double nut. And that's it. The chicken is ready to be roasted.